Here we have about a knee high log. I'm gonna come in at about a 45 degree angle. Now if this were completely dry, I could probably just wheelie right into it, drive the rear tire to the bottom. I might get a little bit of kick, but it'd probably be all right. But since this is completely wet, I don't wanna do that. I would slide completely sideways, lose, lose control, probably take a point. So the goal here, whenever it's wet like this, you don't wanna to touch your front or rear tire anywhere below the top. So you're shooting for everything to just touch right on top. That's gonna to be your best bet to keep from slipping and, and keep those feet on the pegs. So to do that, I'm gonna come in nice and slow. There's no reason to go fast at stuff like this. It's all about timing and precision. So going fast is just gonna make that harder. So I'm gonna wheelie a little bit further back than I would a typical zap. I'm gonna start about here, wheelie the front tire right up top, try to land right at the very top of this, and then wait just a split second, let that suspension compress, compress down with your body, and as it's ready to rebound, you jump up and forward, and you're trying to lift the rear tire from here up to where the front tire was, because you don't want to land short, it'll end up sliding, so you're really trying to shoot right for the top. Another little blip of the throttle and pop of the clutch as that suspension's rebounding is gonna help lift that rear tire, and it's all about timing, so you wanna make sure right as you're jumping, that's when you pop the clutch and give it just a little bit of throttle. You don't wanna use too much or it'll drive into the bottom still. Wheelie up into it, compress the suspension, pop the clutch and jump forward. And you're really trying to get that rotation. So it's almost like you're doing a nose wheelie to try to get the rear tire up. You wanna make sure after that suspension compresses and you're jumping up to really pull up on the handlebars, hold on real tight and also grip with your ankles, hold onto the bike to help lift the rear tire up. When the rear tire lands on top, you wanna to lean back for traction, get that weight over the rear end, and land as soft as you possibly can. You wanna shut the throttle off to keep that rear tire from spinning. You can pull the clutch in or slip it on top. You just wanna keep that from landing with the tire spinning too fast because that'll kick you off your line, kick you sideways, and you'll still spin on top. So land as soft and smooth as you can. You can practice this technique on smaller logs at less of an angle, and even when it's dry. Just build yourself up slowly and learn as you go. Or Forget everything I said, just try to bunny hop over them.